desperately want shelter. A new system for homeless services promised to get people off the streets and into housing. I've seen people waiting up to eight months for housing. But hundreds of people are left to camp in the cold. If we don't do anything, Five years, 10 years, 20 years, it could be thousands, it could be tens of thousands. Fox 13's Taylor Stevens explains why Utah's system to help the homeless isn't working and what's being done to fix it. We need more shelter beds now. Fox 13 investigates, coming up next. We do have a chronic, I mean, an immediate need right now, a crisis of shelter. Utah counted nearly 3,700 people experiencing homelessness on a single night last year. Every winter we end up with far less beds than we actually need, and we just keep making the same mistakes over and over. But a lack of permanent year-round shelter beds have left hundreds of Utahns with no other option but to camp outside in the elements. I've seen people waiting up to eight months for housing, up to a year in the shelters. I'm Fox 13 investigative reporter Taylor Stevens. This is why Utah's system for helping its homeless isn't working as intended and what's being done about it. All right, here you go, my friend. Here you go. There's a lot of people that want to be inside that do not like being out here. I don't need nothing. I just need you to stay warm tonight. Darren Ball says he's been homeless in Salt Lake City for the last year. He lives outside and relies on street outreach services, like this hand sanitizer homeless advocates are passing out. And they use it to heat their tents so that they can stay alive out here in the cold nights. He's been camping here in North Temple or in the ballpark neighborhood. Hopefully that'll get us through the winter. Thank you. Thank you and says he'd rather be in a shelter. But every time he tries, they're full. I can't make it to my job because I can't sleep proper because it's too cold because, you know, and, and uh, so I'm missing out on opportunities to get back into society by working and not having the place to clean up, you know, and that's, that's affected my visits with my kids. Everything, everything, it's everything. I can't, you know, it's, I'll start crying about it. This dashboard from EndUtahHomelessness.org shows shelters are at capacity in Salt Lake County. That's despite a few hundred extra beds added to help people survive the winter. Generally, by the time I can drive somebody to a shelter, the, the bed is already taken. So, uh, and we have hundreds and hundreds of people out here on the streets that, are, that don't have any access to shelter at all. This shelter shortage has been a reality in Utah for several years. Ever since the state closed the road home shelter in downtown Salt Lake in 2019 and opened three smaller resource centers spread throughout the valley in its place. At the time of the new system's creation, many advocates and even some politicians worried there wouldn't be enough beds, especially as the state's population boomed. Even if the percentage of homeless individuals in our community stays constant with growth, we already start out with a capacity issue for emergency beds. We're only going to need more. But the officials who pitched the new system for homeless services promised there wouldn't be an immediate demand for extra beds. The services offered at new resource centers would move people out of homelessness and into housing more quickly, eliminating the need for additional space. The idea was that there was a more affordable housing being developed in the, in the pipeline. It would be coming online and you'd be moving people out of shelter. That's Preston Cochran, former executive director of Shelter the Homeless, which owns the resource centers. He says that vision for moving people out of shelter faster seemed feasible at the time. But when you have kind of this perfect storm come together, including COVID, you know, I don't think anyone was prepared to be able to say, yeah, we have enough beds. In 2019, the state set a goal to reduce the nights people spent in homeless shelters to 40 by 2022, part of its effort to move people out of homelessness more quickly. Instead, that number has surged. By 2022, people spent an average 65 nights in shelters statewide. In Salt Lake County, that increased even more to about 88 nights in 2022. I think everybody anticipated is that throughput would be better more people getting through the system faster. Wayne Niederhauser is a former state senator who is now Utah's homeless coordinator. He says data currently shows the state has a need for up to 800 new permanent emergency shelter beds in the Salt Lake Valley. There are people who feel frustrated after those conversations in 2019 of, are there gonna be enough bed? And now here we're talking about more beds. I get it, I get it. Niederhauser says the lack of affordable housing available to the very poorest Utahns is the biggest obstacle to moving people out of homelessness more quickly. COVID complicated things too. 
though the state has helped 8,000 people get into some form of housing in recent years. Despite the challenges, Niederhauser still believes in the thinking behind the state's initial plan. And he says the new shelters have provided a better, safer environment. I'm convinced that the vision was correct. Getting people into shelter and out of shelter quickly. And that's the part that didn't happen. The lack of bed space has led to a rise in unsheltered homelessness and camping. Clear connection between the number of shelter beds we have available and the amount of camping we have outside. But when cities enforce anti-camping ordinances, there's often nowhere else people can go. If there were additional beds, homeless advocates say they'd likely fill up quickly. Every time we open up a code blue shelter, every time we open up an overflow, every time we open up more capacity in a standard shelter, it fills up within a day or two. So my experience is that people desperately want shelter. There are currently hundreds of people here in Salt Lake County and across the state that don't have a place to sleep tonight. It's a shelter shortage the state legislature has been working to address, budgeting $66 million this year for homeless services, including the development of a new shelter. However, that fell far short of the $193 million the governor and homeless advocates had requested. We give this much funding, we're not gonna solve this much of the issue. So that's a hard thing to understand is that if we only partially fund stuff, we're getting partial results and it's gonna feel like we're not making progress. Andrew Johnston, Salt Lake City's Director of Homeless Policy, says significant investments are needed, not only for additional shelter beds, but also for services and for keeping people from becoming homeless in the first place. We've got hundreds right now in this county, Salt Lake County, hundreds who need to come inside today. If we don't do anything, five years, 10 years, 20 years, it could be thousands, it could be tens of thousands. This is a, a big addition when you talk about the number yeah. of people coming in. Despite funding challenges, there are some signs of progress um, in the Salt Lake Valley. It is a safe and secure place, so it is gated. The Other Side Academy is working on creating a tiny home village, which could help some chronically homeless people move off the streets as early as this summer. This could be permanent. This could be their forever home. State leaders are also looking to create a permanent micro shelter community and a center for 165 medically vulnerable people opened recently in an old Sandy motel. But until the state can provide enough shelter to serve a larger population of its homeless, Darren Ball says he and many others will continue to camp outside. Here you go, thank you very much. It's so much easier just to walk away and come back out here and go to my camp and then go try to get temporary work. You know what I mean? That's, it's so much easier. <laughs> Cause I'll sit and waste the time there and I need money to eat. Thank you so You're much. very welcome, you got it? Yeah, I got All right. it. All right. Now, with the money the legislature appropriated this year, Utah Homeless Coordinator Wayne Niederhauser tells me the state is working to create an additional homeless shelter in the Salt Lake Valley. There will be a public process to determine the location of that new shelter, but if recent history is any indication, that will likely be a contentious process. We will, of course, keep everyone updated as we learn more.